Tonight we're digging deeper into the technical failure that led to that 17 hour so-called flight from hell to Stockton. Our story spreading on social media and around the world tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS in Sacramento right now. So what's being done to keep this from happening again? CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is getting answers. The airport director says he's working with the FAA and the airlines to make sure this situation never happens again. We know the tower here was unmanned when that pilot tried to land. So how safe is this automatic system? I'm nervous, but I'm excited. A first time flyer, Alyssa Martinez, en route to Vegas with her husband to celebrate her 30th birthday. Her mom warned her about the flight from hell. She was just like, did you hear about like the towers? And I was like, no. And then she kind of left it at that to not scare me. Allegiant flight 161 was headed to Stockton from Vegas, but mid flight, the visibility sensor and automated system failed. Russ Stark, Stockton Metropolitan Airport director, says that sensor shows the weather conditions on the ground. The pilot cannot legally land without an all clear. And we hope that this never happens again um, because you know, we, we want our passengers uh, to get from point A to point B. The control tower at the small Stockton airport closes at 9 p.m., so calling an operator on the ground wasn't an option. The airport director says there's no backup landing plan other than rerouting to another airport. So that's what happened here. First to Vegas and then L.A. 17 hours later, the flight finally back at its destination. It was horrible. The FAA says pilots are trained to handle those situations when there's a tech glitch. Do you think, you know, it's safe to rely on some of these automated systems, automated sensors when people's lives are at stake on board this airplane? Sure. People fly across the country every day um, relying on automated uh, navigation systems. Aviation experts agree safe, yes, but pilots need to know how to handle system glitches. Stephen Thompson with Executive Flyer says he worries pilots are becoming more dependent on this technology and won't know what to do in emergencies. People are getting so technically bound by by just just believing in technology that they f they literally forget how to fly the airplane. Alyssa just hoping she won't experience a similar 17 hour journey. Hope, hopefully yeah. it's perfect. We're safe and we make it home to our three kids. <laughs> the FAA says air traffic hours and operations depends on the demand at these airports.